Jesus is full of it. We want to call on his name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Praise the night. The other guy here is a good blessing from the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. I know this been a good revival. This one has been with me for a long time. Yes. You know, we'll get uh, the Lord to use Brother Max in this revival. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to really stick with me. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I mean, that, that brother don't you teach him here. I mean some good teaching. Amen. I know I go through that, you know, to meet the scriptures and stuff the way he does. Man, the Lord has built us that man. Amen. And that's what people need today. They need that kind of preaching. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's good, it's good, good word. Amen. Yeah, hallelujah. We're going to go in this song and praise the Lord. Good to see each one of you again tonight. Hallelujah. This is what we need. We need to keep a good revival going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Need to. Somebody, you know, that's, that's going to preach the gospel and do it the Bible way. Man, we should soon get people turned away. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Let us all stand. I'm going to get Brother Bernard, uh, Brother Bernard tonight. I, I've been knowing him for like a while and he's a fine fellow. We're going to get him open up for us tonight. Praise God. Praise God. Come on down. Praise God. 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 Praise and uh, the preacher was saying last night about uh, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the ones that's lost in this world because one of the reasons some of, I mean, the Christians that's born again is not doing the job, and that's the reason the devil's keep, keeping on blinding the minds of the ones that's lost in this world. But if we keep on doing our job, hey, next thing you know, hey, the, the loss will be able to see if we doing our job. So I'm just saying, I got these black, uh, these brand new eyes, so I'm, I've been trying to do my part, uh, telling everyone about that Jesus saves, and, and Jesus didn't waste his time when he hung on the cross, and he died for our sins, so... We don't have to go to that terrible place called hate. Amen. 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 Uh, that's my testimony for today. Praise uh, the Lord. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so very much, Lord, that you give us life yes. through your Son. And Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, that uh, tonight, Lord, if there is someone here that don't know your Son as their own Lord and personal Savior, Lord, I just pray that the night will be their night. And Heavenly Father, just ask that your precious Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, will flow through this building tonight. And just open their eyes, Lord, that we can understand the message, Lord, that you're about to have us to receive. And Heavenly Father, just thank you so very much for your love and your grace and your mercy. And we ask each and everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank I'm glad to be here tonight, last year. Praise the Lord. Thank you. We should be well, happy. I'm, I'm very glad to be here. I do. Uh, this might be my third time I hear this young man preaching. I'm not going to call him that other word. In my book, he's young. He's fired for the Lord. And it made me feel good. 
I've been here, and I, I just wish next year sometime he come back here again to preach to us, give us more power matches and food to eat off of. Amen. Thank you. Amen. God bless you, Frank. Got the book on page 33.
Savior song. Yes. And I love this song because no matter what trials we're going through, it isn't over. God has the last say. The devil does not have the last say. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's right. Praise God. Uh, 
uh, the prayers. And I mean, Brother Dave, we prayed a week prior, whatever, and I was over a couple weeks ago. And it, uh, and I know it takes time sometimes for things to set in, and ain't nothing fault for God to do, the things can happen speedily as well. Amen. Yes, amen. But I went home before I had a battle. I mean, my, burnt, my feet burnt so bad. I was up all night hurting. Everything, and I, you know, I said, Del, we know you can't do this. That's right. You have no power over that. That's right. I am a child of the living God. In yes. Place. Yes. yes. And I'm going to stand for Jesus. Right? Mm -hmm. You're not going to make none of my prayers out of a liar. Yes. None of my friends are praying out of a liar. Mm -hmm. Along about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, my feet stopped burning. I laid back in the chair, and I was at rest. Mm -hmm. and, and I just give God praise for it. Yes. Uh, it just tilt back in here. It doesn't tilt back in here. Oh, I don't know. That's okay. That's okay. We'll work it out. So Y'all bear, bear with me here. Yeah, bring it all right. Keep it on the height for you, Brother Dave. Okay. Ian, stick it out. Yeah. yeah. Y'all bear with me here a little bit, but I'll give God some praise for it. Amen. 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 Because uh, I still had to go do some things that day. And I came back home and rested in the chair. And I was just walking around like a brand new person. And I actually walked a day in the Walmart and I didn't have to get no buggy and push it to walk better. Mm, I walked the Lord. upright. Yes. And, I, and in right. my spirit I said, thank you God. Thank you God. Thank you God. Amen. And I said, my people, my brother came and talked about blindness. Of being blind and you know your eyes don't do see. But there's a little thing right here that comes to my spirit coming down the road and we need to talk about that. I'm just gonna sing it here a little bit. It's a, it's a little song that me and well, my pastor had done. Lord Scott took him home. And him and his wife and I took over the ministry. And uh but anyway, this is a song he'd done. I know it's not a different words to it, also some in the book. But this is the song he had. This is our church motto, the Bible study ministry. Oh, the blood of Jesus will never, oh, never run dry. Jesus, you know, it'll never run dry. Yeah. You know, maybe the stains of Calvary upon that dirt of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. We're baptized in the Lord Jesus Christ. His blood flows through the home, through our families, and the blood of, and we'll always see. Amen. Amen. 
Our eyes will be open. We ask Jesus Christ to be our Lord and Savior. See what's going on in this world. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I just felt that over there when he was talking about that. And I've got another little song here. A couple of them, I guess. She said, thank you, Jesus. And I was going to let him testify that song, Brother Cross, real quick. You know, the Lord's happy uh, ministering to a lot of people that, you know, I was set free from drugs and alcohol 20 some years ago. Praise God. And, and, uh, and a lot of the hard guys that I was with, God put them back in my path. All right. You know, and they called me and said, hey, you do my funeral if I die through this surgery. I said, bro, I'll be right there with you in your surgery. Praise God. But anyways, God put them in a path and been praying for them too, you know. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You got to be praying for them. And never give up for them. Be friendly. Amen. Because in my eyes, God put so much peace in my heart. That when I was set free from that, everybody I ever party ever sold something to, I wanted to have the same feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Every morning, regardless of what they've gone through, that they see what I have. They have to, they have to receive it themselves. Yes. Yes. But we've got to present it too. Yes. And live it. Yes, sir. You know, and be friendly. Right. And anyway, God put this one man in, in my path. He just passed away a year ago now. And he received Jesus Christ as his personal Lord and Savior at UVA Hospital. And I brought him home from there. We had a lot of questions talking of him. He didn't believe. But the thing about the song of the old Brother Cross is when he passed away, he had a direct barrier. No purpose, no nothing, went nothing, everything failed. But I went down to the grave site. And I was at the grave site watching him bury my buddy. And I said, Lord, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I believe you made it in, God. You got him where you wanted him, and you took him home. Jesus. And, and while I was standing watching the people were setting up music right there, and because there's going to be another funeral outside of the church with the COVID going on still in church. Really that stuff. Right. And when I turned around and started walking away from that grave, that man that would have the music started a song. And he says, I will cling to the old rugged cross yeah. and exchange it one day for a friend. Yes, sir. You're talking about a big boy crying. Yes. I got tears in my eyes, chills in my bones. I said, God, thank you for your confirmation. Yes, 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 amen. Because yes. I believe in that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I believe in God and comfort us. Oh, and this is another old, the old song that I like doing. Yes. Oh, him. <clears throat> oh, Lord, my God. When oh, I Thank <laughs> you. 
Amen. Ain't nothing impossible that you can't do. Amen. Nothing impossible. And here's a testimony song of me. I think I got it right here. An old song that come by the country bluegrass. I like all music, don't get me wrong. I'm just praising the Lord and got Jesus in it, but I didn't fit in it with it. You know, if I can't play the good guitar, I move feet. <laughs> Amen. But this is a song here that And sometimes people still think this, but you know I don't care because I'm a child living with God. Amen. If you're a child living with God, you are rich. Amen. Amen. If you're rich. We're rich, you know. Everybody has the same measure of faith if you, if you operate it, demonstrate it. Jesus. Amen. God gave everyone he's supposed to wouldn't have been a real respectful person. Amen. Okay, but Amen. we have to exercise. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Lonely year, I had nothing. But I had to me till I heard about
ain't nothing like we here shouting, man. Well, I'm glad God turned it on on me. I was, there in the I was living in darkness. And there's another old song here. You got time for one more? There's another old song here that reminds me of my life. Uh, it's, it's not about me here tonight, it's about what God changed. Jesus. But it reminds me of this person in this song. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank Jesus so much for all he did for me on the cross. Thank you, Jesus. When you think about when he died on the cross, we were healed by his stripes. That crown of thorns was pushed in his head. Yes. And then cat nine tails 39 times pulling that flesh out. Carrying that big old wooden cross. No God came out of his mouth on a knucklehead like me. Bless you, Lord. That's what I say, a knucklehead like me. Jesus. He went through that. So his blood lines can come on down to my life to save me so I can turn on life and see him yes. one day face to face. That's something to think about. Yes, it is. God said, oh, Kevin, you know, the, the colors that a man can't imagine he's never seen. I love that. I love the fall. I love flowers. Yes. Different colors and stuff. When I sit back in the woods and hunt, I look at all the different colors and leaves and say, God, you're such a great artist. I can only imagine what you like up there. Yes. Praise God. Woo. I'm going to get in there. <laughs> I'm going to get in there. Like the party.
Yes, sir. So you go ahead and bring the word forth and, and, and uh, we go from there. Amen. 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 Come on up, everybody. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jesus.
I mean, no, you're going to have to have stuff, not just to stand. Yes, sir. Amen. But you're going to have stuff to withstand. That means, uh, you know, we have the storm come, you know, like category three and category two. But you know, these storms are coming out for me, some storms that we never witnessed before. Anyway, I mean, oh, God has given us everything that we need that we can stand the storm. Yes, Amen. So we got a few scriptures I'm going to give to you here. <laughs> but I tell the Lord help us here. We're going to try to use it here. And I'm glad to do that. But anyway, put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil days. A lot of people, you know, they say that you, you know, that you won't be saved. But a lot of times people get taken down because they don't have the whole arm of God on them. See, when you put on the whole arm of God, whole arm of God, then you don't have to fight to death. That's right. That's right. Amen. Stand. Yeah. Amen. Above all, take the shield of faith. Yeah, Amen. Amen. The Bible says you take the shield of faith, you can sprint every fire with God. The devil coming at you with when you ain't, you can't just try to take faith and don't have on the whole of God. That's why he said, above all, take the shield of faith. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to share some scripture with you here. Oh, Amen. Man. Concerning the whole arm of God, the way we see it. I know some people preach it different ways and different yeah, stuff like that. But I, I, I just have to say it like I read it. But listen, we got the script. Let's go to first, uh, first John. I've been using a lot of the same scripture every night. Because they all fit. They fit. I just love the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I, I get to say when I find out the word of God is true, I don't, I don't care how many times, you know. Amen. So I'm saying, let, let's go to first, we're going to go to first John chapter 5. First John chapter 5, and we're going to begin reading here from verse 5. First John chapter 5, and we're going to be talking about the whole army of God. Verse 5, it says, Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit that bear witness because the spirit is true. There are three that bear witness in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Yes, sir. Amen. Now I'm going all the way back to Matthew. I guess I might have mentioned it there. Matthew 28. Amen. Matthew 28. Matthew 28. And I'm going to Matthew 28, let's go to 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Luke. Go to Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13. And we're going to go to Luke chapter 13, verse 18. Keep coming. Luke chapter 13. Let's go to verse, uh, verse, um, verse, oh okay, let's go to verse 18. He said, he, then said he, unto what is the kingdom of God back? And where do shall I resemble it? It is like a branch of mother seed which a man took and cast into his garden, and it grew and waxed worse. Amen. And the wax, wax a great tree, and the fowls of the air lord in the branches of it. And again he said, Where well, unto shall I lack the kingdom of God? It is like Larry which a woman took and hid in three majors of mill until a hole was left. Amen. So I, I, I got the Colossians. I think I might have read these last night. I don't know, but I don't. I can't worry about that. I'm the ninth one. <laughs> I'm going to, let, let's go to Colossians chapter two. Colossians chapter two. Amen. We're gonna get a couple of verses of Colossians chapter two. And at Colossians chapter two, we got we got verse verse eight. Yeah, that's verse 8, Colossians chapter 2, and let's go to verse, verse 8. He will not ask any man for you through philosophy and vain to see after the tradition of men, after the rudiments and the, and the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwell all the fullness of the God and his body, and ye are complete in him, 
which is the head of all principalities and powers. Amen. Now this is what the subject on out of Ephesians. Out of Ephesians chapter 6. Chapter 6, and I'll begin at verse 10. He says, Finally, my brothers, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to, to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities and against the powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in our places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your Lord and God about the truth. And on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shall be struck away to the of peace. Amen. Above all, take the shield of faith, wherever you shall be able to split all the fiery darts of the wicked. Amen. We're going to talk about putting on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the last and evil day. Amen. How many know we are in the amen, last and this is really an evil time? Yes. Amen. And the devil has been loose. Yes. I mean, no, Jesus came and put that devil in his place, man. <laughs> two thousand, over two thousand some years ago, and now he done, he done got healed or something. He's like, he's back in the earth. He ripping up stuff. He been loose, <laughs> and you Praise can't God. tell he's loose. Yes. Amen. You know, but he's still under God's control. Yes, he still oh, can't do no more what God allowed him. But God good. expect you and I to be prepared. Amen. He, I mean, the Bible, you know, we, this is what we are today. We're coming in now. We ain't supposed to be surprised. We ain't supposed to be here with right. our spirit of fear. Right. We're supposed to be we warned at this time. Yes, yeah, that's right. right. Amen. Warned that these days will come and to prepare yourself. Be ready. Get ready. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And, but we just, just go to church so long and just hear the preacher and just get numb to it. You hear yeah. and know him oh, and be in the same old place in the skin. Amen. Uh, a year later, and they yeah. move, and they move, they put on the nothing. Mm -hmm. Amen. And now the day is here. Yeah. Yes, Amen. Amen. If you don't have on the hold on the God, you're not going to be able to stand because the devil has got no way to take you down with sickness and disease. I'm not telling you the devil ain't coming to your house. He's going to come and go. Yeah, he's going to come to your house first, but he ain't got no way to take you down. They will take you down with all these different stuff. And how many of you can have step in your body and, and the Holy Ghost in you, that Holy Ghost will take the life back. Hey, but somebody said, I don't know, I said, I don't know what all that means. But I know what, I don't even want to what that means because stuff gets me greater than anything the devil can do. That's right. That's I don't worry about it. <laughs> it don't worry me at all for whatever it is the death, and then the Holy Ghost takes care of it. Amen, because I strive, amen, to walk in all of this word. I got a hunger inside of me, been inside of me for I don't know how long. A brother looked at me one time, he said, man, I ain't seen you in 30 years, and you was on the edge of that seat with the priest, and you still on the edge of that seat. And that's the way I'm going, with that oh, yeah. preacher, hey, but I'm on there, because I feel like I, the more I get, the more I want. Yeah. <laughs> I don't never get to the place, hey, that I'm satisfied. Hey, right. right. because I used to preach the name, and, Call it green today, tomorrow, amen. I'm gonna need you some more because I don't I don't just eat store this stuff up. Amen. I hear it when I share it with other people. Right. I mean come and I share it and I come back and get some more. But yeah. you know you got to grow in God. Right. That's what happened, you know, when Paul, amen, in in, 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 in uh, Hebrew. Yeah. I mean the people they were stuck. Yeah. They were stuck. He said, Y'all on milk, it should have been that you been you should have been teaching by now. Yeah. But you still on milk. You know, right. prisons, they, they right. keep people, keep chipping on milk. They keep the people where they gotta have them. They, they gotta have the preacher to be here. They gotta call the preacher. But y'all ain't take us to stay on milk. Uh, Amen. That be the pause. You should have been teaching your own self. Yeah. You yeah. should have been out here. Yeah. Amen. Right. Folk, but you still on the bar. Amen. He said, we done to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's that's the first step. And then how many of Jesus, he spoke through Luke, he said the kingdom of heaven is like a woman to them that meets with three men. See that three men, it ain't no three person. That's why the Bible said, most the baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. It's three men, there ain't no three person, but it's three men. You don't get it all at one time. And then when you get born again, for the baptized in the name of Jesus, you born, you just like a baby. You come out of that water, you're a baby, you need some milk. You don't need no milk, but you don't need to stay on no milk bottle. You don't need to stay on no passive act. You know, people that minister to people, you know, it's good to minister to people. But nobody should have to minister to you and tell you that God loves you. You've been saved five years, ten years. You ought to know by now. 
<laughs> they got love. You got even when preachers now they come out and they go to minister to people. They start walking the aisle and looking at him. This him frown on people. You know, it's easy to minister to people now because you can look at them until the devil on feet the toe out of them. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Lord. Man, I used to wonder why, why, why folks didn't minister to me. You know, and, you know, and I used to want people to, you know, and Lord, to let, what, what do you need? You know, because yeah, yeah. when I, I'm looking like I got the people too. Hey, but you know, I remember Brother Cheryl, Brother Cheryl he used to do a lot of ministry. He kind of backed away from it because sometimes you'll spoil people. People look, you know, and they all get on the end of that seat, they'll start pulling Brother Cheryl. Oh, pulling him over and want me to tell him something. Hey, me tell him. Hey, there he's getting the feeling of things. Get sick just to get in the crowd. But folks, we got to leave this baby state. Yes. Hey, Amen. We can't start. That's the first level. Amen. Right. Hey, being baptized yes. and repenting your sin. Hey, Amen. That is the foundation. The foundation is part. A lot of times, we're not preaching. Repent, being baptized in Jesus, even though people already say they saved, but they're not on the foundation. That's why they get so far in the dark now, you can't never go nowhere. Every time you're up, the devil bring you back down because you're not on the foundation. Yeah. But how many of Jesus told Peter when he asked the who the men said, I am some to you did. But Jesus, who Peter to you are the cry of Jesus, the son of the living God. And Jesus yeah. told Peter, Amen, upon this rock, come out my name. Amen, I'm going to build my church. Yes. And the gates of hell, when you get built upon this Name of Jesus, I don't care who you are. Hey, when you go, you gonna fight the devil, and the devil gonna beat you up and down. And you will never have it. Because by the time you get up, baby, as soon as the first time a storm come by, a wind blow, you going down. You up today and down tomorrow, and you have to preach out. But when you get yourself to understand about the name of Jesus, about being baptized and being born of the spirit of the water, and you get yourself rooted in that word and get that foundation upon you, hallelujah, the devil can huff and he can puff. Hey, but let me tell you what. And you will come out with a victory. Hey, you will come out with a testimony. Oh, the devil. Oh, he thought they had you. Oh, yeah. But when you on that, I don't care. This ain't thing about no imagination. You got to go by the scripture. Yes. That's what you got. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm rattling off my God every time they hear you. But, but I got somebody else got to preach it beside me. Yes, sir. They got to be preaching up people. Ain't no need you build and keep building and you're not on the ground. And you ain't going nowhere. You go. Hey, as soon as that first storm hit, you going down. Yes, sir. The Bible says, wise person, deep, deep, amen, the most important about the house, amen, is the foundation. Mm -hmm. Amen, you don't put it on, you build a house, and then you'll come to flood, a lot of houses over here, you know, when the flood's going on, and all this, people have being washed off the mountain, yeah. because they're sitting on the sand. Yeah. But Jesus, when you dig deep, man, you yeah. dig deep, find that yeah. solid rock, yeah. oh, yeah. hallelujah. And put your house, and that's what the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is a foundation that you build on. There's no other name. You can't come out here and build upon something not in nature. Hey, well, you got to build this house. He said, I'm going to build my house. Hey, he just said, hey, he told me to go into the upper room, go back there and stay there until I get back. Don't you go have no street stuff. Don't do nothing. You wait till I get there. I'm going and I'll be back because I'm going to build this church. This church is going to be built by, by the inspiration of God, by the anointing. And then we're going to have nothing to do with it. That's why Paul had to get rid of his smarts. Because oh, God didn't need his smarts. That's right. He had to dump all that stuff. Yes, Call that stuff and come back alone. Because yes. oh, God don't need it. God told us in Romans 12, I will see you by the mercy of God. Present your body. What God needs is a body. Yes. He needs you to present your body. Oh, that's what he needs, a body. Somebody that's willing to come serving to the Holy Ghost. Hey, Amen. If God ain't doing it, God don't be able to have the labels in vain. I don't care what they let me come out. Lord, hey, if I heard about the church, blow it all down. Yeah, it's going to blow down. A lot of churches going to blow down. They're going to be at the church, but preaching people coming out because they're not filled. And then that's why I said, Lord, let me get, get, get some old dough so I can get it. If I can get it, there, I don't worry about people being, being made through it. If I can get the truth in there, the truth will make it. I find some people that can listen to the scripture. And listen to it. it will make it. But too many people are, are closed out. They look at you when you get that clue. Yes, sir. I didn't never know that Brother Charles said that. Brother Charles don't know everything. He wasn't meant for him to know everything. Brother Charles know what the Holy Ghost, but Brother Charles, about the way I said, Brother Charles, he done finished his course, but the Holy Ghost is still moving. Yes. Amen. The Holy Ghost is still moving. It wasn't ever designed for Brother Charles to live forever. It wasn't designed for Paul to live forever. Paul, he said, told me, told me, told me, I'm getting out of here. Now you can't live so long. Right. We ain't going to come up here trying to be another David Charles. Right. Brother Amen. Taylor, Brother Charles, brought, now we're going to, and branches, we're the, we 
supposed to care about what we've been taught. We've been taught, we've been trained to get out here and out. Amen. Take these scriptures. Yes. yes not get out here and preach what oh, we want to preach. Jesus. 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 Not get out here and try to preach yes. these. Right. Come on. Amen. Preacher, don't spend too much time trying to act like the Amen. Well, I can understand that when you ain't been around nobody but the chair. But you need to be around somebody that ain't no prophet. Amen. Yes. You need to get with somebody. Well, Brother Terrell, the prophet for Brother Terrell. He could teach all the ministers. Man, he had the ability. To, he, he didn't have it, but he could teach you how to God give him that. Yes. yes. He could, but most times people want to pick out the big part. <laughs> they want to be a, a, a possum. Yep. <laughs> a possum. Yep. Oh, that seems like a big shot there. <laughs> oh, man, you can act bad, man. You man, got folks trimming at you. <laughs> man, trimming, man. Yes. Come out there oh, looking back. Talking back. Oh, no, it ain't nothing but a servant. Yes. Father, who in any of us? Ain't no big shot around here. Ain't nothing but if we anything, we're servants. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, we're servants. We're going to just depart them, put on the whole armor of God. Not just part of it. Yeah. Some people go so far, and they, 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 oh, they go so far. Come on, Some man. people go so far to get to repent and be baptized in Jesus. But they don't go no further. Yeah. They don't go no further. Hey, man, I, but, hey, but I'm trying, I'm trying to, to get this thing balanced out. I said, Lord, I don't want to run around here just saying what everybody said. I want to make a difference. I want, I want to make some people mad. Okay. I want to make them so mad that they'll go and look in that Bible. That's and, right. And that's the reason I read the scriptures out. Hey, man, I don't take no text. I get it and read, but, and read them out here. Hey, man, so you can write them down and go and see if that preacher tells the truth. That's right. right. No, you heard Read it for yourself. Don't take my word. Hey, man, I don't have to get up there and get the rat and all and get be real with y'all. But I read the scripture. Then that's what I do. Then that's what I work on. Yeah. And I'm going to try to, whatever I read off the paper, that's what I'm going to be preaching to you. Yeah. I'm not going to read it off the paper and go preach something else about some fried chicken. Because we ain't dealing with fried chicken. Hey, man, we deal with some boiled potatoes. <laughs> we need with some baked potatoes. They were trying to get you down on both sides. I've been able to cook some hot potatoes in the fireplace. Yeah. You don't get to turn them over because we're going to get you burned up on one side and hard on the other side. That's the way, that's the way God do. They, 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 they saw it on one side before that other side. I know me and sister, we was in Canada. And boy, they loved her so good. And they asked us, said, well, sister, hey, won't you stay with us? About a month. And, uh, and she came and she said, Brother Matt, she said, they want me to stay with them. I ain't gonna call her name because she's going to be the Lord. Praise God. But uh, anyway, I told her, I said, Sister, I, I, I said, I said, Sister D, I said, when we get ready to go, you better be loaded with us because when they see the other side of you, you loud as a walk. I don't Man, you meet people, they nice, but you ain't seen the other side yet. <laughs> You ain't seen another guy. You know what I'm gonna do? Cause people are burning you up and they're like, oh, but you better let's get out of here. Cause if they do, they see that other side, you're gonna be running on that phone. I put that phone home. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but that young God, he don't want to just be baked on one side. He wants to be thoroughly. Amen. And that's what Paul, he said, let's leave the principle of the thing. Amen. Let's get away from the, amen, from the past about these things. We're going to always have people coming in. Amen. That you're going to have to baptize. But let us that are saved, don't let us have to be in the, in the altar every time a preacher comes. We in the altar repenting of some old baby stuff. Let's get away from that. Let's go over. Let's eat the meat of the word. Amen. Amen. Because that, that is, 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 is three Level, the third, first level and the second level. Well, the Bible calls it measure. That first, that first measure is our preacher of the night, and he thinks that, that first measure only come up to your ankle. You ankle deep. Oh, you can't swim in ankle deep water. Right. Ain't a whole lot you can do in ankle deep water but look like a child. Go mud at one another. <laughs> <laughs> but how I many know? But that, that third, that second measure, the Bible says it, 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 it brought it, it, the water come up to your knees. Mm -hmm. But that still ain't enough water to swim in. Right. But that third, that, that, that third cubic thousand cubic, yes, the water come up to your waist. Yes, sir. And when they went and started to measure another, they, they water was too deep to cook. They had water 
See, that's what we got. See, we got to see that third measure is the baptism of the Lord. I'm not talking about you when that first measure is being born of the Spirit, amen, born of the water and born of the Spirit, but you ain't baptized in it. That third measure is the baptism of the Lord, amen, when you present your body, that second measure, amen, is Roman, I present you, amen, but if you to present your body to God, a living sacrifice, holy and accepted on the God, which is the reason for something that be not conformed to this world, being you transformed by the new your mind into a proof of the good and accepted perfect. With God. And not to think of yourself more highly than you are, but think sober. So God has built every man. He gives you enough faith to be what you're supposed to be. Because without faith, because when you accept Jesus Christ, and then He gives you a man to faith. He gives everybody. You have enough faith. The Bible says, and many have received Him to them. He gave them power to become the Son of God. Amen. That's what God gives you favor. He gives you so you can become what God called you to be. But He don't give you something to be what somebody else is supposed to be. That's right. It don't work like that. God gave you what? The ability to be what he wants you to be. Right. But when you try to be what you're supposed to be, you're going to mess up right. day after day. Yes, By the time you ain't going to get nowhere, you think you're going somewhere. But you ain't going nowhere. Yes, because God put you through so much that you come to the place that you'll be willing to do it like God said. Mm. Yes, and some people are so stubborn, they, some people say God has to kill them. I, I, I'm afraid of what I do. I always been. I ain't never had to whoop me in it. Because it draw back, I go, ah, and they ain't hit you yet. I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I be hard with it. Man, they know they know about it. And I always done like that. Sometimes I got a whooping and whooping, even a teacher whooping. And I didn't, I made my nothing to do it. I wasn't, but she whooping. She just whooping because I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. We're going to do it me. Whoop me in the back before you do anything. That ain't right. <laughs> And they had a, 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 a girl there, she was about year old and I was. That she could beat her and she could sit. I mean, I, I wish I was that tough. Man, that she had a chin of bell, like a leather bell. Like that right there. Right. And boy, I mean, she hit that girl, that, and that chick was tall. She chewed a tongue like we were tall. <laughs> I mean, she was tall. She was big. I mean, she was able to handle that whole school. She was the only one in that school. My and she could handle you when you were born, like wherever you were. Man, she go back and hit me on one I saw one little old tear drop. And I was trying to tell her to cry and do something. But she was tough. She could take a beat. But I ain't like that. I don't want, I mean, best, I don't want God whooping me. I don't want God whooping you know what I'm talking about. But some people tough. You got some people tough out there, and you got children, man, they know they need to get saved, but you try to talk to them, but man, they just that God just going to do it to me. They're going to wait for some bad hell before they turn themselves in when they don't have to be like that. But we're talking about, amen, putting on the whole on the God. Not just stopping in the, that, that first level, but, but we got to go. And that's the devil's job is to stop you from getting to that third level. Because he knows he can keep you from getting to that third level. You ain't got no power. That's right. That's what he's trying to do. Yeah. He don't mind you starting. In fact, he ain't going to bother you until you do stop. Hey, the Lord, you out there losing, but when you start trying to do right, yeah. oh, that's what, hey, he don't mind you joining these churches that ain't work. Hey, you got some churches that ain't no threat to the devil. You get joined up with all these churches that you can still live like you want them and act like you want them. Hey, God ain't in them. And the devil, he don't worry about that. Either. He don't worry about the church. Hey, he don't worry about it. He ain't no threat to the devil. Hey, the devil, let me tell you something. Hey, but when the devil, when you get out here and start confessing, if you think you've got some friends and everybody love you, then you mess around. You go in that water and get baptized in the name of Jesus, and you go to a church and you testify, and see, don't get turned to cold shoulders on you. Oh, they say somebody like this church here. This church, when you come with, with somebody that believes, you know, believe the scripture, you don't have no problem. You may have one or two of them don't understand. Yeah. Baby, but you can go in there because when you go, you got to try to find out what level the people don't want. I don't want to come in, amen, and people already in level one. If I got that's no way, if they on level one, I need to try to take them to level two. I don't need to try to take them, but you got to get the mind of God where the people are at. So hey, sometimes I don't know where the people at. Baby, so I just start at level one, and when I see you know, past that, then I go on to level two. 
I gotta find where you at. I can't preach where you were or where you and where you supposed. I gotta find where you at so I can know how to move you to the next level. Because when I leave here, amen, I don't want to leave you like you live. I want to leave you study, amen, going to that next level because that is a place in God that the devil can't kill you. There's a place in God that God gives you power and authority over all sickness, over all disease. But we gotta get there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It ain't God for we ain't waiting on some big boo. We ain't waiting on some big, big, big prophet, somebody company. No, we got it in the scriptures. Yes, Everything we need yes, in the scriptures. Yes, he even said God has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Yes. Amen. It's all in the scripture. And that's why I told him, he said, add to your faith. Yes, Once you get faith, you gotta add to you gotta grow. Add to your faith. Add virtue. Add knowledge, yeah. add temperance, add patience, amen, add uh, uh, godliness. You can't have brethren unless you get godly. You gotta be brother love, and they got godly love. Amen, you can't love one hundred times. But you, have, if you add, you add patience. If you ain't got no patience, don't try to uh, uh, jump over. If you ain't got patience in trying to be godly, ain't no way for you to be godly and ain't got patience. Or right. people ain't got patience, they try to control God. Right. God, I told you, and you know, God got to move when they was God over, then they get mad. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, you better have the faith, because when God says soon, that could be 20 years from now. Because this soon ain't like your soon. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I'm going to bless you. Mm -hmm. You look at that next day. Uh, My God, so you don't understand. It, but if you got some patience, you got, if the Bible is a patient, you don't go to the Walmart, you don't go to the grocery store and tell about, I need, oh, oh, I need some patience. No, you don't buy patient of, of the gross. Yeah. Patient comes through tribulation. Yeah, <laughs> That's what you learn the way going through things. Yeah, hey, you yeah. learn if you're going through tribulation, you learn the way on God. Because in your tribulation, you trying to do it your own time. If somebody you just throw your hands up and say, Lord, God, I can't do it. That's what he waiting on you to come to your and say, Lord, I can't do it. I'm trying and, and he wait for you. As long as you struggle and try and go to God, that like Peter out there, he's I struggling all day, all night, and they ain't called nothing. Hallelujah, get ready to go home. But Jesus stepped over. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. And all Jesus told him to catch you doing. Yes, man, Peter said, Lord Jesus, listen. The man, I've been out here all night. Peter know what on fish out there. He know what on fish out there. Peter was a fish. Yeah. But Jesus told him to catch that. Because when Jesus tell you to go fishing and look in the and look at, and look in the first fish mouth and get some money to pay your tax. Jesus, the word already done put the money in. Yeah. It don't think you running around on money. But, but that's what, see, that we can understand what, what God is trying to bring us back into it. Yes, sir. Into yes, sir. a place. See, Adam lost. He lost the authority. Mm -hmm. yeah. He lost that image. Yeah. He took on the image of sin. Yes, but Jesus comes to restore us yes, back the authority. Yes, put us back in charge. He didn't come to stay with us. He come to shed and pay the penalty that it took to get us back what God required. God didn't require no blood from Adam. That, that didn't satisfy. It had to be a human being. It was a human being said, it's going to have to be a human being bring us back. But it wasn't a human being on the earth, amen, that was qualified because all had sinned, amen, from Adam. And that's why God, amen, Jesus had to come because he's the only one. He was born of God and he didn't have no sin. He was tempted at every point just like he was, but he didn't sin. And he gave us an example that we can live. Because Jesus wasn't, he wasn't perfect. When he was born, he had to grow. Twelve years old, man, he was talking about. He got to be my father, but he wasn't ready. He had to move. Yes, sir. He didn't say it, but he had to move. Oh, God. Yeah. And when you get born again, you got to grow. You can't get out there. You can't give a, 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 a baby your car keys and tell him to go bring some, to go buy some light bread. Yeah, no, if you, you're going to be like, oh, Lord, what is that, my baby? Yeah, yeah that's your baby. You had no baby to give it little keys. But yes. He wasn't old enough to drive no way. I mean, God is not going to put this kind of power in us until we able to come get out of our child and stay. Amen. Get out of whatever we got. But we got to go. We got to put on that 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 that, that second man. The woman, the Bible said this woman, amen, she took lemon and mixed with three men. Because you can't mix all this at one time. You got a little bit at a time. You can't take it at one time. 
But you grow in God. You grow and you put you put on the Bible. You don't make provision for your flesh, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and quit trying to come up with all these excuses. You can't do this. Hey, you can't do that. Man, so whatever he said, just do it. Hey, but we should have we should have already been masters. We should have already been people that the world. You know, Jesus, he was. Ain't nobody know nothing about him. That's right. They just know him. But when he was yeah. seen, when God chose him, yeah. put that anointing on him. Yeah. He wasn't popular, but he was famous. Yeah. Yeah. His fame went out. Yes, Come see a man. Mm -hmm. Come see a man. Yes, what kind of man is this? Yes, was he that same spirit that was in him? He wanted to put it in us. <laughs> but he can't put it in us as long as we uh, 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 as long as we act like that. Until we com be complete, we got we to gotta present God. We got to pause him. Let's go on to perfection. Perfection means let's grow up. Let's mature. Let's become men. <coughs> men and women, let's get away from children. Yes, sir. Yes. Children don't know the fuss and fight. Carol right. can't get along with it. Oh. But we got to grow out of that. We got we to gotta grow out of that because our love for God. Yes, yes. God is not going to make us. He's not going to be, he set before us life and death. Bless him, Lord. He set before us life and death. Yes, <laughs> but if we know the thing that God got for us, Amen. Oh, we ain't got to really God. have to fight the devil every day. <laughs> Man, you fight the devil because you ain't got your shield of faith. Right. And the devil will wear you out. Man, he can wear you out and know he ain't got to hit you. He'll drive you crazy. He'll just take your mind and just boy, you be around here and, and, and somebody look at you and the devil tell you they don't like you. And you go home mad at that person. Hey, but the devil told you that because you still operating out of a calm mind. Hey, but how I many know when you get that first level, that first man, then your next step is to get your mind transformed. Because you're operating that old mind, the devil's going to be lying to you. He's going to tell you you got cancer. You want to up and believe it. Hey, and when you believe it, then you, you, you send your approval on what he said. But when you get rid of that old calm mind, and you get a spiritual mind, I don't care what the devil says, you got the mind of Christ, and you want to thank that God. You want to thank that word. And as a man thank the soul he, hey, but the devil put it, and you keep thinking you got cancer, some of the other cancer going to come out. That's the way I'm going. God got to fix that. Jesus. And you that's can't think. Yes. That's right. You can't think. That's why our mind. Our mind. How do you transform your mind? Thank you transform you your mind by the word. Yes, sir. That's why right. you learn. You, hey, you, you, you go to you go to Nashville, go to another place. You can't go over there and drive like you drive over there. Yes, you got to get over there and learn. I know Jesus is coming to me and learn. We have to learn. You don't come up with a coming your way. Some people come over here with their old way and try to control and change. No, you got to become like a baby. You got to become like just like you come in this world. You got to become like a little child. You got to drop all your smarts. You got to drop all your whatever. I ain't telling you you got to throw away your hey, throw away your charts and all your degree stuff like that. But God don't need you in here. He don't need it. He don't need your degrees in him. He Amen. don't need it. And that's what they have preaching right now. They think they got to finish what God didn't do. Oh, God finished it from Jesus. Jesus. Oh. We say, it is, I finish what you give me to do. Yes. It is all in the thing. It don't need nobody trimming on it. It don't need nobody patching it up. Amen. How many know when Jesus said, let that be light? Nobody ever had to go up there and let it the sun. Nobody had to go up there and let it come with it. What he fixed? He fixed it well. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. That's why right. this one is that's why you gotta get we gotta get back here. This word is too simple for people. People done went to school and got all the degrees. This this word is so simple. They want something way out there. Yeah. Oh, they want to go back to the old testament and find out how God made, how God made a man and how he did all this stuff. Yeah. I don't I don't let all that has God bypass all of that stuff. Man, how I, I have never been able to figure that out. Yeah. I wasn't there. Yeah. Hey, how many know? It ain't gonna do me no good to know to know. How many blocks and came saw the temple? It ain't gonna good and good to know how many wives came saw in the head. That may be something different. But that ain't gonna help me no. I need to know what Jesus wants me to do today. Amen. I need to know what he expecting out of me. Yeah. I want to know what I need to change for him. Do I need to change from this attitude I got? Do I need to change from this old spirit I got? Do I need to change from this old stubbornness? And the Bible will teach and give you everything you need to know. Amen. Somebody said, when the preacher don't preach it, but God ain't expect the preacher to preach it all. He told us to search the scripture your own self. Amen. Search the scriptures. Because in there where you think, you think when you start looking at the scriptures. 
Jude told them too, for y'all, y'all looking at all the scriptures, y'all looking for life. But all the scriptures point to me. I'm the fulfillment. All, all that the scriptures point. I'm the one that from Genesis, a prayer of I'm the one. I, but y'all looking everywhere, but you won't come to me into hell. And in this script, oh my Lord, this is life for the glory of God. And I'm so glad it is so simple. And to tell a lot of educated men like me, oh praise God. And when I know it, I'm fool enough. And like that, I'm fool enough like Peter. Lord, nevertheless, that's your word. Yes, God. amen. I ain't gonna tell you I understand anything. Bless him, Lord. He didn't ask me to understand. He just told me to do it. Yes. yes. That's what faith, you know, because I trust him. That's right. I trust him. Okay. That's what it's all about. Yeah. You trust God. You yes. trust him enough to act upon his word. Amen. Yes. Amen. Decide they didn't understand. That's why we just told him to go and baptize in the name of the Father, Son of the Holy Ghost. They didn't understand that. That's right. But before he left, he told them to begin at the root. Begin now. I want you to preach for parents to me. In my name, he made But see, Jesus wasn't in no hurry about revealing who he was at that time. That's right. Because he said, I come to do the will of my father. Mm -hmm. Jesus would have no, no, no nothing about coming and trying to what, what, what the father had in store for him. He come in one purpose. Amen. That is to do the will of God. He said, I come in my father's name. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I come in my father's name. Yeah. And his name was the word. Yeah. He was the word made flesh. And it was after he finished what, and, and, and went back, went up to the heaven, and that's when the father received the sacrifice, and that's when he turned over everything over again. Yeah. Turned everything. That's why Peter said that one, they wanted that y'all have crucified. God had made him full Lord and Christ. The Bible said it pleased God that all in the fullness of the Godhead was in Jesus. Yeah. Amen. He's God, he's Jesus, he's everything. Hey, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and the life. Hey, when you're looking for God, look to Jesus. Because in him dwell the footing. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God is the spirit. Now he has a body. But now he ain't just got one body. Hey, we are that body. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 He has the footing. God didn't give him a man by man. But we got, he gave him the footage. Yes, yes, he did. Body is but we didn't get him. We got the same spirit. But we didn't yeah. get all that we got. But he did say we are complete in him. Yes. Right. We are complete in him. All we find us to do is to do what the word says. Yes. Yes. And you know what? This Bible is so, a whole lot of this stuff in here, there's a lot of stuff that you, you know, you, you read, but you get in there and, and begin to learn what Jesus taught, what he taught, what disciples taught, what Jesus taught us. You know, taught us how to be growing, how to be perfect. As I said earlier, you read Matthew 5. You get in that Matthew 5. You get in that Matthew 6. Yeah, and you'll see some tough stuff. Yes, That's why they turn on Jesus. Yes, sir. They turn on him because Jesus said, you got to eat my flesh and drink my blood. Yes, sir. And he would tell out, you're going to have to do what I teach you. Yes, if you're not willing, you're not willing to do what I teach you to do, you're not willing to come serve because you're not fine. I'm not giving you my word. The word that I'm giving you is the word my father sent to me. And when you reject, when you reject me, you reject the God because I'm not coming here with my own word, but I'm coming here hey, with what the Father gives me to bring here, and that's what I'm giving you. And when you reject that, you reject God. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why, yeah. that's why these scriptures right here, and that's why people are so messed up because they got so many different preachers that rolled up with with with, with, with something on line with the Bible. Yeah, it don't matter. It sounds good. But Paul said, you on you the you you on you you on the ball. Yeah. You don't know no fifth no way because you the baby. Yeah. You be running talking to it over every preacher come along. Yeah. I ain't never heard that before. You better watch and you never heard that before. <laughs> yeah, back it up, you heard it before it ain't coming out of the scripture. You better watch you better watch it. Yeah. Or you got a lot of people right now, they they operate by their dreams. They operate by what God showed them. Lord God, amen. And I suppose to believe. Amen. I don't need, I don't need no sign. I don't need nothing, amen, to make me believe the word of God. Jesus. Amen. I don't need nobody. He said, Amen, what one sign gonna be? Amen. Amen. Back on the moon up to 30 degrees, get back to the old testament. Yeah. But the only sign we're gonna get is the sign of Jonah in the bed of the well. And Jesus, it, 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 so the man was in the heart of the earth three days. He said, that's the only sign you get. He said, you can't come to me nowhere except my father's daughter. That's right. Amen. 
You can't, if you don't, if God don't draw you, you can't come to him. But he's not going to draw you against your will. Unless he sees something inside of you that you really to surrender to him, he's not going to be pulling on you, running you down, chasing you down. Amen, because you love the world and love the friends of life. Amen, when they quit walking with Jesus, how they know Jesus has to decide, ain't y'all going with him? Aren't y'all going with him? Because Peter should know you have the words of eternal life. Hey, where can we go? Ain't no way you can go to these scriptures. These scriptures got eternal life. Hey, man, they got the words of life. And, and then you go. And, but the devil is out there trying to pull you away from these scriptures. That's why we got the hospital field. We got the nursing home field. We got the crazy house field. We got uh, all these words of church field. But people like us ain't going to fuel us. Might want the devil on the seat. Look at all these churches. Man, I just did get in before the thing got rotten. Man, they were staying in the office that they got saved. And back in there, the old folk, they, they know they know what you come out there to be done. They said, uh, that's what they said. But come back tomorrow. Yes, sir. Because the real talk. When you come out with the real, there ain't going to be no thing. Let me start off with that. But when it comes out, when the Holy Ghost comes, there ain't going to be some I got me go. Shall they be in line with the key? The real is going to be speaking of it. It ain't going to be nothing. Go to the Bible. 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 Oh, you ain't gonna get it. The Holy Ghost will come. The Holy Ghost, they will pray. The Holy Ghost will come and it will come on you. You'll roll over the float, but it ain't gonna remain because there's something Amen. in your heart that's gotta be moved. The Holy Ghost is not gonna dwell in the heart. You got to get paid. You got to give it up and be with it. And when you do, the Holy Ghost will come in. It won't just come on. And then when you wake up in the morning with it, you go to bed, you go to your job, you see it time I buy cake, we're gonna go to the job. Money in the day. Glory to God because the, the, the Holy Ghost, it, it just lied on him. It remained on him. It went into him as he lay in him. Bless you, Lord. That's how. He didn't never get away from it. Man. See, that's Amen. the third one. When you get born of God, see, born of God, that's that third measure. That's how. See, being born of the Spirit. That's the thing. Born of the God, born of God oh, is the thing. That's why when, he's, when you're born of God, you can't see it. For that seed is in Like a dog, see a dog, a dog, a dog. And I don't care, you can't make it be nothing but call me the dog. Oh my God. But you know what? We can act like a dog. We can act like a snake. We the only people that change to be what we want. We can be a snake. We can be a coat. We can be a fox. But a dog. But when you're born of God, then you, you ain't just born of the Spirit of God, but you're born of God. You're complete. Oh, that's God. When you're born of God, then you cannot sin because that seed, that word, amen, is in you. You can't sin because you're born of God just like a dog can't be a person because he's a born, he was born of God and he can't change. And when you're born of God, but a lot of people didn't go in for to be born of God. They were born of the water and of the spirit. They got a taste of it, but they didn't go all the way. Because we are not of those that draw back, but we are going on to the same in our soul. Yes, it's rough. Yes, it's never done. But it ain't never going to stop the call. There's nothing going to separate me from the love that I have for God. I got my eyes set on my mouth. Now press it to him that mouth. And I ain't going to give up. Because the Lord done assured me that no weapon formed against me is going to come. He done already assured me he's not going to allow the devil go over yon for I can count. Amen. That's what I said. Amen. All, I can do all things through. Whatever I'm going through, it, I said, I said, I can do all things through Christ. The strength because he knows he done been tempted and he right there to give me some help when he look at it. Hey, the Bible said, Jesus said, I ain't gonna pray for the world. I don't pray for the world, but I pray for those that receive me through the one that I see. Exactly. It ain't just my prayers I got going. It ain't just, but Jesus himself, he, when he get in that hard spot, he got to give us. They wonder how to live, but he give us that strength. Well, he give us because he got it out. Amen. 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 He's watching you every step you make. The angels, when you get one, the Lord let to get heaven. He gives you, you know what happened, you don't see. But Jesus fulfilled his word. Yes, yeah. Amen. As long as you got. As long as you don't throw your hands up, when you throw your hands up, God can't help you. Right. God can't help you. That's why he told Peter, he said, I pray the devil, he wants you. He wants to sift you like wheat. Man, he don't want you to make it. He don't want you to get into the kingdom. I point unto your kingdom, but the devil won't try to hinder you. He's going to try to stop you. And you'll be surprised what 
what the people let little old something stop. Keep your hand on the right <clears throat> Why you ain't coming to them? <laughs> ah. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't let me tell them. <laughs> they already let me see them. When you want to tell them, go tell the preacher, I don't want to tell them back. Hallelujah. But tell them, but go tell them, don't get mad and leave the church. Yeah. Call them up and back, them. why you ask me to tell them about? That's all you got to do. Yeah. I said, the church for a whole year. <laughs> I want to testify, but everybody testifies for perfection now. I just see myself messing up, right? I, 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 but if they ask me, then at least I wouldn't have to take all the responsibility. Because they didn't want to ask me up there. But now you just jump up there like some big shot and get up there and know, know your ABCs. Because up there, you got when you jump up there, them old say they, they get up there, man, get on the spirit of and the bitch bit of that, and the mother of that, and we're all, they call everybody the name of the church, and I get tired of that, and I just could, and I, but you know what? And that's when I learned when I, when I passed in the church, hey, amen, I learned to get, every, all, everybody from the church, I get them all involved. Yeah. I don't care if they can sing, can't sing like a frog. I don't let them do something. Because they pay their tithes, then they got a right to express themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we don't let them go somewhere else. Let them, let, if they're going to make a boo-boo, let them make a boo-boo here. Yes, so we can straighten them out. Oh, okay. Don't they go somewhere else and then they do it. And I don't watch people. I can see people got some in them. And I know they ain't going to get up on their own. Yeah, and I go back there and, and one person, he's well, man, I ain't like no man, he just. He ain't gonna let you know. But in church, you can't act like these brother Cheryl me. You can't go in front of Cheryl me and mess up me. Man, he done spent thousands of dollars and get somebody out there and mess him up. But this, we at home. Yes, I don't know, we at home. Yes, Amen. They mess up and leave you straight them out. Yes, Amen. If you get up testifying too long, Amen. Let them know. They're gonna take over the whole service. We got other things, other people want to do something, don't get it. That's one thing we got to learn if we ask to testify. We got to learn to testify. Amen. You didn't actually preach because the preacher comes out. Yeah. But now if you're the preacher, you can't help it. Because the preacher, the preacher going to come out of it. But at, at, at that, you still got to learn temples. I mean, you got to learn temples. Yes. That's right. Well, you learn these things. I mean, I mean when the Bible says, answer your faith, knowledge. Temples. Well, Kevin, you got to learn temples. Yes, you got to learn when the hole and when the door. Yes, that's right. <laughs> right. Yes, sir. It's like I was telling about, my son told me, other brother, you called the brother's name, you were listening, but anyway. You know, he preached, he preached two hours. But he said, brother, man, the people ain't wrong. I said, brother, they get on the hole. Oh, my God. Come on, man. Yes, you got to know when to stop. Yes, sir. You just got meat all over the place. Man, just eat it in and eat it. Yes, you got to save so yes, Make three meals out of it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give, 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 you got to know when. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Because I remember I, 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 I testified for the church and he didn't even call me for another whole year. Oh, okay. I wonder why he didn't call me because I didn't know where to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to sit down, but I couldn't find an exit. <laughs> And I thought because the people was hollering, I thought, I didn't know they were hollering and they want me to hear anything. I thought they were enjoying what I was saying. They were good, but they didn't come to hear me, they come to hear Brother Terrell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, even though you're good, but the people, they rolled my eyes to come to hear Brother Terrell. Yeah. But sometimes we have, we have to learn these things. Yes, That's right, because sometimes these things are hindering their hinder ministry. Yes. That's why they hinder them. I mean, I have to learn. Yes, if I get up there and I, I, if I feel the Spirit, you know, just, you know, I just drop even when I'm preaching. If I'm preaching and I'm going and I feel, I cut it back off. Yes. Amen. Because if I give it all to you, ain't coming back tomorrow night. We got the whole armor. We got through here. Put on the whole armor of God. Yes, sir. That's made me understand. Yes. When you put on the whole, then about to, so you don't have to fight with it. You're about to do not fight against places where we can. But the Bible, you stay. See, when the devil comes against you. See, when you put on the whole arm of God, I don't care whether he shoots, he don't have a bullet strong enough to penetrate the arm of God. Jesus. Amen. 
I told him one time, they was talking about me so bad, and they, they didn't know people think I'd be crazy. They, they said, man, how, one brother, man, how you get on that? Man, people oh, talking about God. you like a dog. He, you, he, don't, he don't bother you. I said, no, I'm dead. Amen. I tell him the way people are out there, I'm dead. You know, you shoot a dead man, you don't feel nothing. <laughs> they think you're crazy. Amen. That's what I was doing way back about 16 years ago. I saw the TV and these vampires. It was about 1 o'clock in the morning, man. I was looking in there and I'm looking. Man, them police didn't shoot. Pow! Ball them down my and they kept walking. It looked like they gonna walk up that television. Man, I got some scared. I wanted to hit that TV and run dumb in the bed and cover my head. I ain't never forgot that. That's the police. I left the way of them. And that devil would shoot. Pow! And he had keep on walking. Pow! That's when you put on the hold of the guard. The devil don't have a bullet strong enough to penetrate the army of God. He can shoot, but no weapon formed against you. That's why it's important for us to put on the hold on the God. And if you ain't been repenting and baptized in Jesus' name, you ain't got on. You can't put on the hold because the foundation is the most important thing about this building. That's the only thing the devil trick people with. That's the missing key right there. That's the key that the whole church world have missed. Yeah. Big churches they live, they had missed that. Yeah. And the devil had took it and confused them. Yeah. And they think of nothing. But that is the greatest mystery that you'll find in the Bible. You won't find a greater mystery. A greater miracle. That a person can go in that water and corrupt with no good right. Done. Paul had people murdered, killed. Yeah. Only way. Right. He go in that water. A no good son. Yes, With a spit moment, he come out just like he ain't done nothing. Yeah. I can't See, the devil it. took and hit on me. Yes, because if you don't go through that channel, you're going to battle the devil. I don't care what. If you get out of one rut, you're going to get out of another rut because you ain't got nothing. You, the devil, I'm talking about you, ain't going to get nowhere. You got you to gotta humble yourself and get back to these scriptures. A lot of preachers, they don't want to humble themselves because if they humble themselves, they're going to have to confess they've been out of wrong and they ain't going to confess that. They got too many pride in They done told too many people and they done all this stuff. Amen. They done told people now that they're going to look at me. You worry about how people, but you better be worried how you stand before God because right. he's going to take these scriptures and judge you. And if you don't come up to these, I don't care where you've been preaching. I don't care where you've been casting out devils. I don't care where you're going to call people down. And I don't care what. If you don't line up with these scriptures here, you're going to wind up what the rich man went. Yeah. That's right, man. That's where you're going. Man, God don't have no special person. You don't have no personality. God don't care a thing about your body. That's right. You don't look at one no different than look at it. And he gonna judge it by his Yes, they are. And I'm preaching like what I preach because God has blessed me. 83 years going on 84. And never had to go to a doctor. And this is all I had for 67 years. And I've been through some storms. If I'd still been in that Baptist church, I'd have grass that done grown up around my grave. But thank God I had enough eyes, enough sense to realize them Baptist people was okay, but they didn't have what I, I need the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I need it. I don't mean a little do that there, but do that, but I need the real thing. I need to know that I have the Holy Ghost. Amen. I don't need nobody to have to tell me I got it. That's right. I go home and preach to them. I got the Holy Ghost. That I got to ask them, how do you feel when you get the Holy Ghost? Hey, when you get the Holy Ghost, let me tell you something. Ain't nobody dog gonna know you got it. Amen. You ain't gonna come home kicking the door and all no when, when you get the Holy Ghost, that gonna be a change in your life. Amen. And if you ain't get the change in your life, you didn't get the Holy Ghost. Amen. Some people get the Holy Ghost more quickly than others. Because more some people more hungry than God. Some people just hungry a little bit. They they ain't hungry. But when you hunger for God and thirst after God, thirst after right, it ain't gonna be long, man, for Jesus gonna be walking in you and talking to you and him and him and you and the devil, he's gonna see you coming. He's gonna start running high. Uh oh, uh, please don't cast me out. Oh, don't cast me out. Amen. But see, the devil's job is to stop you and hinder you yeah. to reach into that third measure. That third measure is when you have been born of God, yes, not the water of the Spirit of God, because you just taste it. That's what Paul did. You don't taste it. You just taste it. You ain't, you ain't, in, you ain't going away. You, you just got enough to feel. You got enough to, 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 to talk a lot of noise. 
But you ain't got no power. You don't get no power, amen, to, to, to help nobody. You just got enough power. Jesus told Peter, when you get to bed, then you, you can't help nobody else but your own self. Because you first got to get, not just get born or baptized, but you got to get converted. You got to be changed. You got to be transformed. And the only thing going to transform up, amen, by not just hearing the word, but doing what it says. Yes. It transforms. The Bible says, perfect and convert your soul. And that's why I, 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 I've been giving myself this way. I didn't have no education. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know. I, I mean, when God called me, I went for a whole year. It wasn't bad. I wanted to obey God, but you know what? I didn't know how, I, I didn't know how to read the Bible. I mean, wherever I go, the Lord. And I remember reading the Bible. I read over there somewhere where it said, "My Lord, send unto my Lord, send on my good students." Oh, I throw that Bible so hard. I told us, God, you just going to kill me. But when you go for days and can't sleep, when God get on you, you know, but it wasn't that I didn't want to obey God, but I was looking at my education. I thought God would need my education. But he wasn't needing that. All he needed was food. Somebody crazy enough to do what he said. Paul said, I'm a fool for Jesus. And when you start living by faith, people call you crazy. Because you go against the grain. You're like Abraham. Yeah. Abraham, Abraham, they look at man, Abraham born around the time. Man, this guy's gonna have a baby. Man, he's crazy. Man, you know why? Because he was a man of faith. Hallelujah. He didn't look at what he said. He listened to the word. And when you come a fool for Jesus, you no longer look at what the doctor said. You don't look at what you see. Because what you see is that, hey, but if God said, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and hey, God, if Jesus, that means you, then he can come. Bless God. You ain't got no to get out of You know you can't walk on the water. But you know what? He can walk on that water. Yes, sir. You got to go crazy, man. It's got to be a change. Yes, sir. Somebody say, how do you know where you at? See, long as you sell going to church and it's selling down, you're going to have too much problems. You start, you start getting in this movie. Don't worry about over there in the Old Testament right now. You, you, right now, you get over there. You get over there in Jesus' gospel. Yes, sir. That's, that's where you need to get. Yes, sir. A lot of people that they say, well, I don't read the whole Bible. I ain't got time to go on that because all them names and stuff like that. Hey, you, you start over here in Matthew. I, I even skip all the names. He was Judas and Lord for that. I skip all that. <laughs> I get on over there. Amen. Hey, what Jesus said, and he began to teach his disciples. And I began to get in and read. Amen. Hey, 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 after you go one mile, you got to go two. After you put your coat, give the coat. Amen. Hey, after you go whatever you slap, you're on one side, turn the other side. And you got to get where you can turn the other side and turn it into spirit. Yes, sir. You can turn it well. You know, it's, it's got to be witness. You got to be part of the disciples. They were glad to something. Yes, sir. Man, they put, man, them, them guys, they got beat. They come out rejoicing. That they will suffer for the name of yes, Jesus. Amen. Man, you're supposed to be glad when people hate you and try to go be something joyful. Hey, because you know when they start, hey, if everybody loves you, yes, you in trouble. Yes, <laughs> but Jesus told you right now, they can't hate you. But you wait till you get what I got. You ain't no threat to them. But see, they know how, hey, he, he said, I'm a threat to them. Because I, I reveal you. Just my presence. But when you get what I got, they're going to hit you. Mm -hmm. How many people that you thought would have never even what? Man, this doctrine, this, this denomination is, is divided. Just like, just like the Democrats. Are, man, they divide. Man, doctrine is up. They divide people up. Because it's a different spirit. It ain't the spirit of God. When you get born into the spirit of God, you'll connect with God's people. And you will hear the word of God. Come on, let me give the Lord a good old praise. Amen. 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 Pray the Lord. Oh, God, if anybody, anybody is sick, see the night, you ain't got no business being sick. Amen. But if you're sick, but you pray for you. But listen, just take this word. That's what Jesus is trying to bring you to. That's right. The Bible, the word says it. The word is now and in your mouth. And that is the word of faith. What we've been preaching for you to take that word, your own, your own faith. That's why right. Jesus was in that boat sleeping. He was sleeping, taking a nap. And here come a storm raising up. And boy, instead of feeding them praying, they woke Jesus up. Yes, they did. Yes. They woke, he said, how long is I going to have to be with y'all? I can't be with y'all. Where is your faith? It's time to start using that faith. Yes. Using your faith. Yes. Stand up to the devil. Don't let the devil walk up. Stand up and hold your mouth and tear that devil. 
I won't tell it again. I won't sit down. You probably I'm gonna lose my service when I tell it again. But I won't sit on that. But I was going through some stuff, man. Well, I mean, I'm well. The wife that I had at the time, she she maxed out all the credit cards and left. I mean, I mean, I was thousands of them. They were threatening about taking the church. Take the church, take my house. Man, I went through some stuff I could man for whole. Comment, you know, you when you when you depress, man, the devil can depress you. You can, you know, you get depressed because you can't see no way out. Right. You can't see no way out. That's how people commit suicide. Yeah. Yeah. But I was in prayer, and on the way after sleep, I had to have the Bible on the table or something. But when it quit. I know it's time to quit. And I was praying, I said, Lord, how long are we going to have to go, go through this here? Oh, God. He said, as long as you want to. I'm thinking, as long as I want to. Oh, God. I'm sitting there waiting on him to, to, to <coughs> come and get this monkey off my back. <laughs> but some of us, you got to learn how to use your faith. Mm -hmm. And man, it was about four or five o'clock in the morning. Got a dog on the side, right side of the door outside because when I'm, he like to hear music too. Okay. And I woke up, and I opened that door. His name was Kato. I said, Kato, go out the way. Man, I got to speak in some kind of tool. Oh, man, and I mean, I was mad. I mean, when I realized what the devil had done to me and how he had had me all, and I could have been delivered way back yonder, but my people would show up for the lack of knowledge because they don't understand the word of faith is in their mouth. I'm going to tell you what I said. I apologize for what I said. But I got to speak it in, man. I was attacking. Man, I died. You will go. You will not stop. Run, run, I said, get up. Get the hell out of here. Now. <laughs> that spirit left. It left. And never come back. And I thought, oh. You know, we go through things, don't realize what all this sin in the church was in us. That's why Jesus, we were what you think. I gotta get out of here. It's time for good. Hey, some, some people wait on a, a, a Google do. Yeah. They wait on the Google box. Yeah. They don't Google bump. They even got the word of God, something the devil come up. It's time for you to open your mouth. Amen. Hey, don't let that devil make a home and hey, open your mouth and tell that devil to get behind you. Yes. Yeah. Open your mouth wide. Come out from now in here. Because the devil on it. I'm breaking. I'll throw it. You know, you got some chip, you know, yes, Bob, you need to clean that. And they gonna come and they get, hey! Oh, y'all cool, bro. Mama well, ain't playing right now, let's be done. That's where the devil is. When he, he know when you're talking to him. Yes. He know when you're trembling your voice. You, 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 you're hoping, you, you say it because the scripture said it. Somebody told you to say it. But when you say it with a no God, what is true? You come out with a thought. That devil understand authority. See, the Holy Ghost gives you the authority. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's that third measure. That's the third measure when you are baptized with the Holy Ghost. You, but you're baptized with, and the Holy Ghost baptized you into the kingdom of God and give you the authority to use that name. Yes. Again, oh, I bet you did. Did I pray? Put your hand on your heart. <laughs> oh. I said, I got to breathe in to come back. I won't. I'll be, I'll be ready. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Lord, there's so much to live in here, Lord. It's old church, Lord. It's still got some of that old feet of God. People, no doubt, in this church them years ago, Lord, the Holy Ghost moved it. And Lord, we just thank you, Lord. We're privileged. And Lord, right now, God, we come to you in the name of Jesus, in the behalf of your people, Lord. Lord, you come to destroy the works of the devil. Lord, you come to deliver us from the power of sickness and disease. And all you ask us to do, if thou can't believe, believe in the finished work of Jesus Christ. And Lord, it's not by works or power, but it's by faith. God, believe it and accept it. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Lord, that you look back down. Every request, Lord, even on Facebook, maybe somebody is looking, got a problem, got a sickness. Lord Jesus, right now, we pray, God, that they will join their faith with our faith, God, and accept what you have already done for us, Lord. Yeah. Over 2,000 years ago, the work has been finished. And Lord, that you honor their faith. Yeah. Move to them, Lord. It's our faith, Lord, that bring glory to your name, Lord. And Lord, to bring forth that fruit that bring glory to you. In the name of Jesus, we pray.
God took, see that faith working and expecting and believe God. Give the faith that they decide. We pray right now. God, that you let it come to pass. Let it come to pass according to their faith. We agree. Lord, that it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you for the victory. Lord, we don't have to doubt you. Lord, because you have proved yourself, Lord. And we just want to thank you for allowing us, Lord, that we can come upon the throne of praise and make our petition known. And God, that you give us that help in any time that we can trouble. You can cast our kills upon you for you kills about it. Come on, lift your hands and give the Lord a good old hallelujah for you. Yes, that quick. It's a miracle. Yes. 
Yeah. It's a mystery. People trying to figure it out. They can't figure it out. You just have to open your heart. But that's the way it happens. You have with her in church. You have with me. Amen. Amen. And I still can't explain it. I ain't worried about it. My brain ain't, ain't that brain. I, I'm just I'm just obeying the scriptures, knowing that it works. Because by the Spirit, the Holy Ghost is the witness that it works. Yes, sir. But when I done what he said, I got the Holy Ghost, then it brought a change in my life. That's how I know it's by the Spirit that he gives me. Yes, sir. I don't have the same spirit one because the spirit that I had, it was going to control the spirit. Glory to God. That's how I know it's by the spirit. Yes, Amen. Father, right now, God, we thank you. Lord, this is a precious soul. Yes, Lord. Lord. Jesus. And Lord, she's humbling herself. God, she's been hanging in here. So in her heart reaching out to you, Lord, you never turn nobody away to come to you, Lord. Thank you. And Lord, we pray, God, that you'll take control of her life. God, she's yes. hungry. She's wide open. Yes, Lord. Lord, you give her a dream, a vision. And help her, Lord God, that she just make that step of obedience. Lord. Yes. Lord, because Amen. we can't get saved Praise without a preacher. We yes. can't get saved on our own. That's right. We have to have a preacher. A yes. preacher, how can he heal without a preacher? How can he preach except he be sick? And God, we ask, Lord, that you just give her that, that to obey you, to trust you. Trust your word, God. And walk in obedience. Lord, that first step of faith. Lord, when she steps, step in that water, that's going to be her first act of faith. Faith without action is dead. That is what makes her faith. That is what justifies her faith because of her obedience. In the name of Jesus, God, we ask you to bless her over her understanding. Yes, sir. And Lord, help her, Lord, to pass by a lot of people that have been, been dealing that around. God, God, put a running God, spirit on her feet. And God is serving them. God, she, God is serving inside of her. God, she could teach other people. God, if you help her to be what she ordained and called to be, in the name of Jesus. God, you bless her health. Bless her health. Bless her family, Lord. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good. Amen. Yes. That's my brother. I'm still, I'm still wanting my healing for my eyes and my ears. Okay. Amen. We're going to pile some more faith for you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Keep the faith. Yeah. Amen. Keep that's Amen. it. Amen. God has his time. Yeah. Sometimes he don't move when we want him to move. Yeah. Because he knows what's best for us. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes if he moves too quick, we may, we may, you know, but he, he's in control. Don't give yeah. up on him. Right, yeah, right. Everything is for a purpose. Thank yes, you. Yeah, Father, yeah. right now, God, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes. God, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. God, we know your will will be done. Your will will be done, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, God, we pray. Let his faith will ever be strong. Lord, you chose people that praise your faith will not fail. That he won't give up, Lord. Don't give up on God. Hold fast. Because one thing about oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, he has a reason and a purpose, Lord. In Jesus' name, God, we pray. God, is his request and his desire, we stand with him in faith, God. God, that your perfect will be done. Your perfect will will be done, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And keep his face in courage, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Just, just keep looking for the day. Keep looking. Yeah. Look at, Amen. And all of a sudden, Jesus is going to, you're going to see Jesus up there with the hand like that. Amen. 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 God bless you, brother. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, you, I, I think I may have a half a hand. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you say tonight, uh, uh, the greatest mystery. Uh -huh. Where was you at when you said that? Where was I at when I said that? Uh, you said uh, the greatest mystery. To me. That when you were talking tonight, yeah. you yeah. said, uh, uh, I think this is the greatest mystery. And I, I missed the rest of it. I was, I yeah, was well, I, I, the mystery I was talking about, how, how I could be changed from a corrupt. Okay. Yeah. yeah. When I went out in that water, you know, it's like a, a black cow eating green grass and letting out white milk. You yeah. Know, I don't understand. But how you God can take you down in that water, you repent, and he take you in that water, you be a corrupt, no good, rotten, and before you come out of that water, he done change you from a corrupt to an incorrupt. Yeah. And come out with the Holy Ghost. Amen. That to me that's yeah. that, that's a powerful move yeah. right there. Yeah. Amen. That's a powerful move to me. Yeah. Yes. One of the greatest. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Bible says the mystery that's been here for not being revealed to his saints. Yes, sir. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's why I be praying for God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Glory. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. We want to be used by God. Okay. Really? Thank you, Jesus. You better say, we alone call the devil to I want to be used by God. Oh, my Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't say I didn't tell you now. Praise God. All right. But that's what the Bible teaches us that we in the dark. But we know we want to be used by God, but God is not going to allow him to do nothing to test us so we can't go through. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, yes. Lord, it's just so wonderful. Lord, you're looking. Lord, you're looking. Lord, you, they, Lord, you told us time to pray that the Lord of the harvest, that he will send for oh, labor God. into the vineyard. Lord, we need some labor. God, we got a lot of uh, uh, television and faith, but God, we need some foot soldiers. God, we need people that can, can get out and get in the home and, God, and, and, and personally witness to people. God, you've given that ability. God, and you, whatever you put in them, give them the courage, Lord, the confidence, Lord. Yes. Lord, you told us, Lord, not to cast away our confidence, which is our boldness, Lord. Yes. God, to get out here and be a witness for you, Lord, and yes. tell people about Jesus. Tell them the scripture, Lord. God, to hide what you came to do and what you went through, the price that you paid, Lord, that we don't know how to have to go to that lake of fire. Thank you, Lord. Lord, because you is our way out. You are the only way. God, you've given that anointing, God. Let them be a baba abu. Let them be anointed with a fresh anointing, Lord. They ought to become one in Jesus' name. Lord, there's people are waiting, Lord, to hear what's in them. Lord, I can't fulfill that shoe. God, every one of us, God, got people, Lord, that's, that, that's, that's on our lot, man. God, that you're holding us responsible for, Lord. Jesus. God, we pray that you give them such an anointing, such a harmony together. That when they come walking up the door, that they will see Jesus coming up to them. So in the of them. Just, just give them all their tanks and open them up, Lord, and they can present Jesus to them. God bless y'all. Praise God. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Well, I think you get a little bit, get a little bit of what's on the devil's trail. He, he can probably find and go for a find somewhere to go. Yeah, man. <laughs> It'll take more than one of us. <laughs> I mean, when the four left, they wasn't the four them. But God made it sound like a whole bunch of them. Yes, sir. Man, they run off and left everything. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Listen to my hand this way. Jesus. Yeah, that's how they were demons out there in, in the garden. Praise he God. prayed three times. In this. He prayed, he come to me and said, Lord, let your will be done. That's, that's what God is. He ain't looking for us to get out here and try to manhandle this stuff. He wants us to give him permission to come in and use us. That's right. Lord, let your will. That's, that's what he waits on. That's what he waits on. Yes. I mean, we all need to our life. Oh, pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Grant this petition, Lord. God, let such an anointing. Jesus, you said a holy one. Jesus, oh, thank God. Lord, let such an anointing, God. Lord, let that spirit wake God that she experienced, Lord. God, in the past, God, let it come back, Lord. Oh, my God, we pray, Lord, to stir up your spirit inside of us, Lord. Wake up that anointing of God. Give us a boldness, Lord. God, to speak to the people of God. And not to be shy, not to hold back, God. Isn't that, Lord, just to be in your soul and body. Give us that will, that ability, Lord. Yes, sir. Oh, one of one things, Lord. Yes, sir. God, give us a reward. You're going to go more than a great Lord. Lord, we pray God to touch your body, Lord. God, you go from the top of her head to the, it, throughout the bottom of her feet, God. Yes. Anything working in her body, Lord, it's going to be able to crush it right now. Lord, because we thank God, the Holy Ghost, Lord, God, to give her pregnant help. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank, thank you, Lord. Glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Lord.
Bring it up, lay it in his hand. He says, that's what we're going to do. And then we let you go. Praise the Lord. Glory to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.